Hey guys, today's Saturday, May the 20th of 2023, and I'm uh, titling this video, Looking for Ideas. As you can see, I'm looking at the uh, indices, and it's just pretty much chop fest, except the uh, Nikkei. Uh, S&P, just kind of grinding, just chop, wants to go higher, but kind of st stalling. Euro, uh, grinding higher. NASDAQ, kind of grinding higher. DAX. <clears throat> grinding higher VIX very low Russell just kind of in a chop fest sideways this is a monthly so this is big time picture so I don't really see anything interesting here let's go into the uh, energy which I've been uh, analyzing and obviously it's just pretty much chop fest it's not really trending it's not really going to go lower but it doesn't want to go higher it's, it's just kind of chop so I'm just watching and waiting same thing with uh, crude oil Brent Natural gas is probably my favorite because we're at the bottom, bottom feeders. You want to get by at a discount. So this is where you start dipping in. Start getting uh, your nose, your beak wet. Get your uh, finger, put some chocolate on it. Ethanol, I'm not really too interested. Nat gas, kind of just chop fest. Heating oil, yeah, it's all right. It's not really something, you know, that I will want to invest. Although you got a doji candle here. Now, if it was here, you might you might test me over here, tempt me. But it's here. It's not really interesting. Bonds, eh, not really interested in bonds. Uh, softs, uh, cocoa, got a nice little run. It's already extended, too late to get in. Cotton, eh, not really, just chop fest. Orange juice, very over, uh, uh, very overextended to the upside. So maybe these, I'll probably look at the cycles and see, you know, is it topping out? Are we getting close to a top? It would be risky to be short in this kind of stuff. But, you know, it'll spark my interest. I'll probably, I might, you know, have a little break. I'll probably look at orange juice and cocoa, but more orange juice because it looks like very parabolic, parabolic move. Coffee, not really interesting. Lumber, I remember when it was going crazy a couple of years ago, when COVID and all that, nothing really there. Sugar, eh. Nothing there. Metals, we already know. Gold wants to break out, you know, knocking these uh, these swing highs here, but hasn't really broken out. Silver, kind of grinding, but pretty much in this range. It's just chop fest. Platinum, kind of the same thing. Just kind of more in chop fest here. Copper, dealing with the 407. Can't really take out five. Doesn't want to take out three. So it's kind of more in chop fest. This one is probably the best one in regards to the metal. Uh, if there's another push lower around here, you know, it might even get even better. But so far, it's it's pretty low. So out of all of these, this is probably the best one that I would be. Uh, I'll give it a check mark uh, to uh, maybe nibble, you know, get a little position here. But I'm watching the dollar, so the dollar could probably get a bump. So maybe we could probably get you know more pressure and maybe come down here. Now if we get down here, I'm setting an alert. That that might be very, very interesting right there. Because you know what? You're buying at the bottom, and then you want to sell at the top. So like, uh, was it softs? Why would I want to buy here? I already missed all this move. This is where I wanted to get in. I mean, I'm not saying this one, but as an example, when you like get in when it's like this, then you can reap the rewards of when this move comes and it develops. Here's a little hard because it's just chop fest. You know, you're just chopping back and then you got this breakout. But I like it when it's more um, defined that it's just down and at the bottom of the ocean. Meats, uh, life cattle, missed that move. That was a good, you know, it's trending, it's higher. So this will probably spark my idea to see maybe there's a turning point. Feeding, feeder cattle, same thing. I missed this move. Uh, maybe just look at it, see where where the cycles are topping. If you wanted to short, it's that's an idea. If you want to go short, lean hogs, nothing, just chop fest back and forth, not trending, not really doing anything. Now grains, I was looking at wheat. Maybe wheat is interesting. Look at that. We're at the bottom down here, so it goes, it's probably going to push a little more and maybe stall some around here. So wheat is another one for a trading idea long term to see what's going on there. Canola, uh, it's heading there. It needs a little more. 
Yeah, maybe around 500 and maybe I'll start thinking about it. Uh, oats is another one. So oats is another one that gets my check. We're down here. We're at the bottom feeders with the catfish hangout. This is where I like to see, hmm, interesting. Throw some GAN in it, some geometry, cycles, all that kind of stuff that I look at. And uh, see what's going on. Uh, soybean, not interested. Yeah, soybean oil, not interested. Corn, not interested unless you get down to like 400 around here. Uh, rough rice, not really interested. So wheat, oats, get my check and grains. Let's go to currencies. Dollar. This is the one I'm buying. It's choppy. It's not, you know, it's not going lower, but it's not really going higher. You got that 105. Uh, some say you get to 110. I was chatting with someone on YouTube on my uh, on the uh, comment section. They say uh, Peter Goodman thinks it maybe go to 111, 112, but it'll be a fail new high. We'll see. I don't know. I, you know, it's very interesting. I've been thinking me, but you know, I have also a, a target of 98. So you know, it's still kind of in that range so we just got to keep an eye on the dollar euro if it if the dollar goes up euro is going to tank uh can it test fail new load on here maybe i think about purchasing some forex uh maybe you know a correction and then it goes down and the dollar's going down because one thing is that the dollar weekly cycles are down uh while the daily cycle now is up and it's going to peak somewhere around, I think, September, October. But don't get me, don't quote me on that. Look at my video where I cover the dollar. Uh, but it's it's uh, it's due for maybe a bounce and then maybe continue following the weekly cycles. Or it could just go sideways, just chop. So one of those things, you know, that happens too. Uh, the yen might be interesting too. If we push lower with the dollar going up, pound. It's like the euro is a little more weaker than the pound. And I'm not really interested in any of these guys right here. So I think that's it. So just concluding as an idea to maybe start, you know, nibbling or just kind of keep it on my radar will probably be the dollar, uh, the euro, if it pulls back, you know, because the inverse and the yen. Those are the, the two. In regards to grains, wheat, I'm really liking wheat. We're down here, so that's good. Oats, never traded oats, but that's that looks good. Uh, everything else, I'm not really too interested. Meat, uh, nothing really here. It's already it already did its move. Unless you want to short it, then you will want to look at feeder cattle and look at cycles and see maybe it's overextended. It may be, you know, you want to short it, but very dangerous because it's just trending. It's parabolic. It's just going up. So very, you got to be very cautious if you want to play that because you're risking a lot. The metals. Obviously, like, you know, gold, uh, these, but, you know, I can't really, you know, say, like, I would place anything here because um, I'm waiting for the dollar. This would be a pullback, maybe with the dollar going up and then kind of stalling, metals pulling back, maybe waiting for an opportunity for it to uh, pull back and uh, dip my toes and then see if maybe it wants to even shoot higher. But I'm not... Copper is too choppy. Palladium is the only one that I'm interested in right now. Uh, and the metals, especially silver and gold, uh, for the dollar for a pullback and build a position to see if it's going to break out these highs here. Softs, uh, nothing really interesting here. Everything has pretty much moved. Bonds, I'm not really interested in bonds. Energy, only one I'm interested in, not gas, so that's good. Everything else is just kind of chop fest. In the indices, uh, there's a lot of theories that we're going to, you know, stall and go down. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. Keep an eye on the VIX. But yeah, it could be an ABC correction on most of these. Uh, they just haven't pulled the, the carpet under us, but I'm long some stocks. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm, I'm not surprised if things get ugly. There's a lot of things. Uh, in regards to the uh, indices, I was betting March would be a, a swing low, uh, like a you know spike down, but that didn't happen. So you know you get some right, you get some wrong. So far, it's just kind of stagnant, like it wants to go higher. But those are my thoughts. Just wanted to show this uh, video. I'm going to look into the ones I checked and just kind of just see what the cycles and what the chart is saying and 
some of the uh, techniques I use to see maybe uh, we're getting close to the bottom in here, it, it, of any of those. I like to buy low and sell high. So that's my strategy. When it starts getting ugly, bottom feeding, see what's there, look at the cycle, seasonalities, and dip my toes. Small position, and then see how it goes. And then every time it corrects, buy a little more and rather wave higher. Hopefully you like this video, and I'll keep you posted on uh, my ideas.